During this stage, your baby will really start making progress and the texture of the food you're giving your baby is now going to change. Instead of purees, their food should be mashed with small, soft lumps and ideally, the foods given should dissolve easily in the mouth. Soft finger foods like cooked vegetable sticks of carrot and courgette can also be introduced and this helps to develop hand-eye coordination and self-feeding skills. Remember to always keep a close eye on your baby when they're eating though. The greater the variety of fruits and vegetables your baby tastes now, the more likely they are to accept new foods later on. And whatever you do, don't give up if they don't seem to like the more bitter tasting vegetables. Remember, babies are born liking sweet flavours, like breast milk, so they have to learn other flavours like bitter and sour. It can take up to 15 tries before a baby will accept something that at first they don't seem to like, so keep on persevering. If you haven't already, now is the time to start offering bread, pasta, wheat and oat cereals. The same goes for things like eggs and fish. Oily fish such as salmon, trout, sardines and mackerel are rich sources of omega-3 fats which play a key role in the growth and development of your baby's brain. Of course, if you're worried about allergies, talk this through with your healthcare professional first. Dairy desserts and cheese are handy and healthy snack foods and are rich sources of calcium, so it's important to include some of these foods in your baby's diet. Choose products made with whole milk rather than low-fat or diet products to give your baby the energy they need. It's also important to give them iron-rich foods every day, as the store they were born with is now depleted. Meat, fish, eggs, dark leafy vegetables and beans are all good sources, and to improve iron absorption, serve them alongside foods and drinks that are rich in vitamin C. Your baby should now be taking less milk, so it's important to include some extra fluids in their diet and get them practicing with a cup rather than a bottle. Milk should remain their main drink, but cooled boiled water is also suitable. If you're breastfeeding, the food you eat can affect the quality of your breast milk, so a healthy, varied diet will not only benefit you, but will also help support your baby's weaning diet. So continue to follow a healthy, balanced diet while breastfeeding, and don't forget to include some gentle exercise too. And when it comes to drinks, remember to take in plenty of fluids so you don't dehydrate. If you're bottle feeding, from six months, a follow-on milk can provide more of the key nutrients your baby needs to support their weaning diet, including iron to support brain development and vitamin D for healthy first teeth and bones. Your baby will now be getting strong enough to sit up on their own now, so you can prop them up in their own high chair to join the rest of the family so they can really start to enjoy the social side of eating. It's a good idea to let them have their own spoon and have a go at feeding themselves. Sure, it can be a little messy, but it will really help them develop their hand-eye coordination as well as their independence. 